Let's take a look at a sequence of complex numbers defined with the recurrence equation. Zn equals 0 for n equal to 0 and Zn equals Zn minus 1 squared plus p for n greater than 0, where p is a parameter. For p equal to 0, Z0 equals 0 by definition, Z1 equals 0 squared plus 0, which is also 0, Z2 equals 0 squared plus 0, and so on, just a sequence of zeros. For p equal to 1, Z0 equals 0 by definition again, Z1 equals 0 squared plus 1, which is 1, Z2 equals 1 squared plus 1, which is 2, Z3 equals 2 squared plus 1 equals 5. Further terms are 26, 677, 458,330. This sequence tends to infinity. For p equal to minus half, Z0 is 0 by definition, Z1 is 0 squared minus half, which is minus half, Z2 is minus half squared minus half which is one-fourth minus half, which is negative one-fourth. Further terms are shown. This time the sequence converges to a finite number. Now let's take a complex value for p. p equals a half and a half i. The values we get for Zn are shown. The absolute value of Zn tends to infinity again. Let's take another complex value, p equal to minus half minus half i. This time the values of Zn stay close to the origin of the coordinate system. Now consider a set of all values of parameter p for which the absolute value of Zn doesn't tend to infinity. This is the well-known Mandelbrot set. The true Mandelbrot set is black and white. A point either belongs or doesn't belong to the set. The image can be made more fancy by choosing pixel color based on the number of initial terms in the sequence where the absolute value stays below 2. When the Mandelbrot set is zoomed in, it can be seen that its small parts are similar to the set itself, but more or less distorted. I said this is the set of the values of parameter p for which the absolute value of Zn doesn't tend to infinity. Does it mean that it converges to a finite number? Not necessarily. For some values of p, there is an attracting cycle. You see an example of a cycle of length 3. The point appears in three places and then it repeats. This image shows connected points of the Zn sequence for various choices of p. The whole Mandelbrot set can be divided into subsets based on the number of steps in such a cycle. The Mandelbrot set is a notable example of a complex result emerging from simple rules. Another one is Langton's end, which I present in the linked video.